Okay, the Balm Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. So how do we play faster? Playing faster has a lot to do with mechanics as well. Um, how we approach it mentally. So there are some physical strategies and some mental strategies that we can use to play faster. I encourage you to watch the other videos available on this channel which will show you the mystical drumming uh, um, proper techniques of holding the stick and how to move the sticks as well as your feet because we're going to be using our feet in here as well um, and also to learn some of the mental uh, releasing techniques that we uh, offer you so that you can do this more fluidly okay now we're playing along to a metronome. We hit kind of a plateau. We've all kind of done this, I'm sure. Or if you're new, you're going to get this fun experience. So I'm saying fun sarcastically. It is fun, but uh, it's kind of a frustrating fun at times. Where let's say you're doing 120 beats per minute at uh, 16th notes or whatever, maybe just for example. And once you go over that, you get floppy and sloppy, and you start breaking down, and you just get you know like this, rah, you know, I'm pissed off. Um, you shouldn't do that, okay? Uh, there is ways of breaking through that plateau immediately, uh, besides just putting a lot more hours in, which you should do, uh, that you can just do, like, boom, okay? Just snap, and you're gonna get higher and faster by following these techniques. Uh, I'm gonna incorporate double bass in on this. Um, however, you don't have to do that. You can certainly uh, use a hi-hat if you don't have double bass, or I will encourage you to get a double bass pedal. Uh, it will help your drumming a lot and add an entire dimension. Okay, and don't be intimidated by it. It's um, it's a e relatively easy thing to do, and with um, some uh, practice, your mind muscle memory will build in your feet, and you'll be playing double bass before you know it. Okay, so yeah, by all means, do that. So this is on 50 beats per minute, which is obviously very slow. Okay, but we want to start this slow. So when we go faster, um, we call these clicks quarter notes, but we could call them whole notes, half notes, uh, quarter notes, 16th notes, eighth notes, 32nd notes, 64th notes, 128 notes, whatever. Right? Uh, they don't have to necessarily be called quarter notes, but for purposes of this particular video, we're going to call them quarter notes. So at this speed, slow. One, let's hear the special click, or is it? One, two, three, four. Right, so one, two, three, four. Now, it goes one, and two, and three, and four, and one, e, and the sixteenth note. One, e, and the two, e, and the three, e, and the four, e, and the four, e, so on and so forth. Double bass, right foot, left foot, you can't see, so to explain what I'm doing, okay? Three, four, one, two, three, four. The eighth notes one and two and three and four and two sixteenth notes now. together, sometimes different speeds, um, sometimes playing off each other, and so if you hear that, um, try to incorporate some of that as well, okay, so that you can hear the interplay I'm doing for you, okay. Okay, so at 50 beats per minute, let's just start, and start seeing where we plateau, and where we get stuck together, I want you to play this with me. Uh, if you have a pad available, if you want to bring this up, uh, video to your uh, your kid or something, uh, feel free to uh, burn this or whatever, you have uh, uh, full uh, permission to do so, and uh, please don't make copies of our uh, drum system that's available from on our website, however these videos you may share with your friends, um, yourself, burn, whatever, and bring what you want, it's fine, okay? Okay, so um, let's put all playing along, okay, three, four, so, one, and we're going to do right hand lead here, for the purpose of this video. However, 
you should do left hand lead more when you're practicing to develop an entire uh, new spectrum, bringing left hand lead in. As you do that more and more, your drumming is going to improve dramatically. And as well, your foot pattern could be right, left, right, left, but that could be left, right, left, right as well, or right, 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 or left, 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 with all different hand permutations, mixing it all up. So or right hand, or left hand, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, with your feet going all right, 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 or, or left, 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 or right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, with all the combinations of the hands, sounds like a lot, yes, it is. However, as you get more comfortable with that system that I keep trying to teach you, um, you'll notice that you can do what you want, when you want, uh, any time you want, and you will have um, just freedom as you're expressing yourself. Um, Yogi Bear is something along the lines of, uh, you can't think and hit a 95 mile hour fast fastball, I don't think he said exactly that, but something like that, okay, you know, in today's vernacular, I guess it would be something like a 95 mile hour fastball. And uh, unless you're facing Chapman, if you haven't really is, 100, 100 and something miles an hour now. But yeah. So you can't think and hit a 95 mile an hour fastball. It's not even going straight. It's also, you know, dipping or curving or whatever, okay? It's kind of crazy. So um, it's like drumming. You know, this is building subconscious synaptic routes and throughout our body so that uh, we're expressing ourselves at higher speeds because we really can't think and play at the same time we're playing at higher speeds, right? So yeah. We're expressing at that point, this whole point. Okay, here we go. So we have one, one, two, three, four. Count the orange song. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and Changing up going from quarters to eighth notes to sixteenth to uh, to uh, thirty second notes. Uh, you notice at one time I may what you may have noticed I went from thirty second back to sixteenth notes, which will be more videos. I'll show you how to change times during that. Okay, so let's go faster. Okay, so now that we got that kind of pattern, let's say um, at that speed you got even at that speed you got stuck. Let's say you're a beginner drummer or you just haven't really gotten used to speed yet. Okay, so showing the metronome walk. So let's say we were doing it as uh, one E and uh, one E. So going from 16th to, to 30 second notes, right? One E and uh, one is a feeling, right? So if you feel, you know, one of the end of you just feel like I just can't get faster, right? Okay. Well, it's usually a feeling of I can't. It's just a feeling, right? It's it's um, it's a stuck feeling. Let's call it stuck. I feel stuck. Well, it's just a feeling, right? So a feeling passes through us, ideally, instead of being stuck in us. So letting go. So what we do is we simply ask ourselves a question. Can I release this feeling of feeling stuck? So we went from 50 now up to, let's say, double it, 100. Okay? And we said 100, I'm going to double it. How can I possibly do that when I was stuck at 50? Well, if we were feeling stuck and we released it, we asked the question, can I release this feeling of feeling stuck? I'm feeling stuck, right? That's it. It's just a feeling. 
So you've changed feelings before, haven't you? You've been happy, you've been sad, you've been angry, you've been loving, like right? Polar opposites, a lot of feelings are polar opposites. You just release that feeling of stuck or frustrated or angry, whatever it may be, just by saying, can I let this feeling go? And the answer would be yes, if you choose. Now, how do you let go? You just let go. You think about a stick as a feeling. You can hold on to the feeling, which is like clutching the stick very hard. If you open up your hand, though, and see the stick as a feeling and your hand as kind of like your being, the stick is actually not part of your hand. It's in your hand, right? And if you just wanted to, you could just, hopefully it won't drop on the floor, just let it, let it go, okay? So it's just like that, just let it go. Taking a deep breath in from the belly, where kind of like our chi, our prana, which is kind of our essence, comes from. And just breathing out, okay? It releases that. Now, physically, what can we do? Well, we make sure that we straighten ourselves out, okay? Make sure our bodies are straight. Take a stick, make sure that you are aligned. Not military straight, because that's stiff, okay? But military straight, but soft. Our shoulders, we're not leaning, okay? Um, so make sure our arms are dropped, okay? If your arms are here, you're stiff, because these muscles are all engaged and you're gonna get stuck. Uh, we're not forward, we're not back. When we move to our toms, we don't go up and down because once we raise our shoulders, we're causing tension here. Okay, so we move this way and this way and this way. In the martial arts, we know this because it's it's ancient study of ergonomics of the body, how to move the body with most efficiency, right? So when we move, we want to move with the whole body or block with with proper um, proper motion. Okay, it's a study of nature, really. Okay, so we are really martial artists of the of the music world. We are the uh, <laughs> We are the mixed martial artists of the of the of the drum world. Okay? That's where his conception came to me to incorporate that. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're holding our six loose, nice and loose. Okay, there is space. You can't stick your stick in that pocket where you're holding your stick. You're holding the sticks too tight. Make sure that our sticks. We're allowing the bounce. We're allowing the stick tip to bounce with the pad. Okay, so. Allowing the stick and the pad to do their job. Why are you efforting when the stick and the pad will do 99% of work for you? This kind of molar stuff or Gladstone stuff, okay? You want whipping. Okay, it works, even if it's low, your, your hand should be whipping. The feet as well. You don't want to be burying your pedal. Okay? You want to be bouncing. The, the head of the bass pedal and the um, pad, the drum, the drum, the bass drum head, they bounce, right? Just like a stick tip and a uh, pad or the pad of your, of your snare or your tom, whatever, they bounce. Plus there's a spring or something like that on your pedal, which is causing a rebound. So let all that kinetic energy, all that force that's working for you, work for you. Don't don't do the work. Allow it back to do the work so that your feet are, are free to be more thrust and faster, okay? So we go 100 beats per minute, okay? So, in the bass again.
feeling again, maybe a little bit of fear. Okay, so that feeling, where is it? Many times in the body. Maybe it's in the chest, in the solar plexus, in the stomach, in the throat. So, I invite you to put your chin down. When you put your chin down, it shuts off the cognitive brain for the most part. And you can kind of feel what that energy is, okay? You yeah, actually put your hand on if you wish. Like you put your hand, let's say it was here, okay? And you just breathe in and just release that fear, if that is what it is. Let's say fear, okay? And going back to this again, keeping ourselves, making mechanics proper, okay? Just powerful mechanics will bring proper speed. Okay, so we're gonna kick it up to, let's say, 140. Now that we have released and made ourselves uh, more ergonomically correct now, okay? Tightness, tightness means muscle tightness. We want complete looseness, like you're gonna go to sleep. You should be able to go to sleep, wake up, or about to go to sleep and do this. That's your perfect state. That's what you should feel in total repose, okay? Where it's kind of like pastoral, bucolic, relaxed, okay? So we got 180, let's go to 200, okay? 20 beats per minute. 200 feet, yeah. feel that feeling of lack and 
just say, can I let that fling of black go? Alright, so, yeah, I can let that fling of black go. Just let it go, right? Maybe we, there's only three ways we process information. Visually, auditorily, or kinesthetically. So if you're a seeing type person, you can see the feeling flying away. If you're auditory, you can say, I'm letting it go. You can hear it going away. If you're kinesthetic, you can feel it going away. You can even take, take your sticks, like you say, it's you know, kind of like stuck in here. Like put your sticks on in. Open your sticks, kind of like this is contraction, holding on, and opening is releasing. Okay? Go back to 240. Okay? Let's see what happens now. like. I'm just going to say pick it up here and then after that I'm going to say 240 beats per minute because so 240 beats per minute are breaking down which is not good. Okay so at 220 beats per minute we may have to watch this together and I'll show you where. Okay you're just going to cut. I don't care if it's a bad edit it's fine. Cut and I'm going to start again okay which happens all the time and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start again at 240 beats per minute, and I'm going to start doing it again. Okay, so here we go. Okay. All right, guys, so we're now going to kick it up to 240 beats per minute. Let's keep it in shorter bursts so that you guys can do it along with me. So um, kind of like a roughs almost, uh, you know, multiple stroke roughs, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, whatever. And um, let's keep our feet going as well, okay? So doing that, okay, so 240, we're going a little fast now, remember, it's a number, and you stay loose, you can do it, okay. So we're 
go from 280 now to 300. Okay, so 300, it's fast, but just a number, right? Okay, just quick sounds, okay, so let's get that going. Okay, now I felt a little stuck there. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, a little tightness. Okay, you know, a little fatigue. So, okay, just want to make sure that my hands are loose. Okay, we're breathing. Deep breath in. Okay, let's go back to it together. Let's, let's count to 300. Okay. <laughs> some roadblocks along the way, but we overcame them, okay? So, um, practice that, okay? Um, watch other videos about letting go, uh, the ergonomics of using martial art principles, which is the study of how we ideally would move, right? It's a beautiful thing. It's thousands of years of people thinking very deeply. It's not about the violence, though it could be, but it's not really, the intent is not the violence. It's for how to move most perfectly physically or really good boxing like watch old Muhammad Ali uh, tapes and watch how his body moved um, perfect mechanics wasn't necessarily a hard hitter but um, as you know it was legendary for what he did right um, when he moved his arms his body moved with them which caused incredible fluidity speed power drums right same thing okay we're like the fighters of the of the music world okay so i hope that really helped and uh remember the main thing is to have fun um and love yourself okay remember this is uh, all about fun okay so you're doing a beautiful thing you're a hero for pursuing an instrument and trying to you know high, go higher and higher the word mastery, well, I don't know that's ever a mastery. I think if you play drums for a million years, if you live that long, you're not going to, by the way. But if you did, um, there probably would be something more to learn at the end. Okay, so, um, yeah, just look at it as an ever-ending, infinite uh, ladder of pleasure. You're going up, kind of like a ladder to heaven, stairway to heaven, pun intended. And, um, yeah, keep it fun. Okay, see you next time.